Wake up, sleeper. Hi, I'm Gareth Damian Martin, developer of Citizen Sleeper. We've had an incredible first year on Game Pass, and I want to thank everyone who's played, shared, streamed, reviewed the game. Thank you so much. And if you didn't take a journey to Erlen's Eye to play our unique RPG, well, I have some good news for you. Citizen Sleeper is going to be sticking around on Game Pass. And that's because Citizen Sleeper 2 Starward Vector will be coming to Game Pass day one on release. Wake up, sleeper. No, 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 get out! They haven't finished it! <laughs> Oh, Sleeper's finished, aren't you? We had a deal, Sleeper. And yet, here you are, risking it all to try and break our contract to end your dependence. Just wanted to use them, you piece of shit! Nothing wrong with being a tool in a time of crisis. Uh, there's a war on, and while it rages, well, there's opportunity. I thought you were an opportunity sleeper. Desperate, on the run, a hard worker with certain needs. I met your needs. I gave you a crew, lent you a ship, even hooked you up with a contract or two. And, and yes, I took my share, but that only seems fair. I invested in you. But then you went and did this. And now, you don't need this. And I don't need you anymore either. Sleeper, go! Now! To the ship! You can expect the same freeform, tabletop, RPG-inspired, dice-based gameplay with slice-of-life stories and relatable characters. But this time you'll have a ship, build a crew, and take on contracts as you explore the Starward Belt, trying to make ends meet. It's bigger, more varied, more challenging than the original, but with the same deep world-building and freeform gameplay. It's my attempt to capture what's special about stories like Cowboy Bebop and Firefly where it's not about hauling tons of titanium across the galaxy, but it's about getting into trouble with a complex cast of characters, improvising, making do, and always running on the edge of disaster. We'll be revealing more soon, but before I go, I wanted to offer Game Pass players a world-exclusive first look at one of the locations from the game. Welcome to Hexport. This bustling way station is built on the back of three vast, abandoned solar reflectors. Taking advantage of the flow of power from these pre-collapsed corporate artifacts, the port is rich with industry and activity. The Benz is a spacer bar where you can find trouble and freelance crew in equal measure. The Exchange is the thrumming heart of the station filled with data brokers and merchants, the perfect place to land a lucrative contract. Factory Row is filled with ship fitters and salvage yards, a tight-knit community you'll need to get on the right side of if you want repairs. Arriving in Hexport with a crippled ship, you'll need to learn to navigate the station, find allies and go out on contracts if you hope to stay one step ahead of Lane. I can't wait to show you more, and I want to thank you all again for making this sequel possible by supporting and playing the first game. And if you haven't played Citizen Sleeper, well, now's the perfect time to play it on Game Pass with three DLC episodes just waiting for you. Turn your eyes starward, and I'll see you in the belt. This, <laughs> this is just the beginning, Sleeper.